Can I do this while I'm recording? Ah! I can zoom in while I'm recording. Oh, whoever thought of this is a genius. Ah. Ah. Oh, why am I so easily amused by this? Ah. Because I am stupid, that's why. Hello friends, I'm Ducky Assassin, and we're gonna be playing Two Point Hospital today. I have no idea what this game is. Actually, I have a little bit of an idea. We're gonna be building hospitals, and apparently it's going to be hilarious. Uh, that's literally all I know. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. Ah, We're building they can a brighter, safer future. Heal clownism. And hardly anything will stand oh, in no. our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Wow, it's just like a real hospital. Welcome to Two Point Country. I'm Albert Crake. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Yay, let's get started. I clicked it. I clicked it twice. <laughs> I, uh, I always forget that that is my, uh, <laughs> my picture on Steam. Oh well. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Let's do it. Begin your career as a hospital. Okay, we already read that. Two Point Hospital. Welcome to Two Point County. You're ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients. Or are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Look around the hospital. First things first, you probably want to have a look around. To move around the hospital, hold the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursor to the edges of the screen. Use WSAD. Uh, you can also zoom with the mouse wheel and rotate. Okay. So whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Oh, try looking around the building. Hold right. Oh, that, I can see the whole building. What is the... Okay, I, I am moving the camera. La, la, la. I did it. Give me a, give me a, a, a treat. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Uh, oh, items. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, where's my money? Oh, I have 200,000. Okay. Uh, uh, can we rotate it? How do we rotate? Uh, hold the left mouse button and drag. Click. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, left. Button and drag with right. Z and X. Okay, Z and X is easier. Eh. Oh, no, no. Yeah, right there. Boom! Perfect. We'll need an assistant to run the exception. Now let's hire. Click the hire button to hire an assistant. Where's the hire button? Assistants. Titus Duckworth. Borsab or Mix Mudge. Uh, what are the, oh, click on hire assistance and click on hire then assistant, select the job applicant, then click on the hire button. Who do we want to hire? Titus Duckworth? Mick Smooge. I don't know what these, this means. Oh, customer service, increase reception of skills. Oh, okay. I mean, this guy does, oh, he's expensive. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, well... I, I'm not ready! Titus. Okay, we're gonna have to go with Titus because Mick Smudge is too expensive. So let's hire Titus Duckworth. Oh, he's an intern. Assistant. And he's a senior assistant. Ah, whatever. 
employment reference, high energy, funny, excellent night. Vi oh, he makes people laugh. And he has excellent night vision. That could come in handy. Okay. Thank you, Titus. General Protector's Office. Great. Before we officially open, we need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assist assess patients at bleh, ha! the GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Let's build one. Uh, click on rooms. Uh-huh. With the room selected, drag out a floor plan of the appropriate size, then place required items on the floor. Click on the rooms, drag out the floor plan. Uh, uh, or, or. Okay. Um, You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. I guess we'll have the GP. On two point Let's two have him. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly over Let's do half of this little, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's, it says the number right there, idiot. Let's do six. Uh, Should any of you have any then click the green popular tick. Tunes, as I believe this. people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. Uh, I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. I did not hear any of that because I'm trying to build a damn hospital. A little busy here. It, office. Okay. Well, uh, I guess. Fine. What is that? Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Okay. What else do we need? Click on the rooms, then the GP's office. Drag out a floor plan. Place a door, office desk, and filing cabinet. Then click the green tick. Oh, ah, 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 yes, up here. Wow, that is a badass doctor's office. Now we'll need a doctor. Ah, uh, it's always something. Thought hospitals ran themselves. Angus. Reginald. What's this guy? Increased GP diagnosis skills, 15% diagnosis skills in GP's office. Uh, stamina training. Energy drains at a reduced rate. Uh, I do like Angus, but we're going to have to go with Reginald because this is a budget hospital, okay? Money don't grow on trees. There we go. Perfect. Good news. Our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Perfect. Uh. Okay, I know that already. Let's keep an eye on our first patient as they head for diagnosis with the GP. Well, where is he? Okay, well, bring it on. Oh. Uh. Oh, what does pitch the camera mean? Beautiful. Who is this? Esther Woodwind. Do not worry, Esther. We're going to take great care of you here at... Ducky's... Eh, hospital Stravaganza. That's a stupid name. We're just going to call it the hospital. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like you are... What's wrong with you? We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list at the bottom right. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. What did you say? Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Groot. Grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost $7,600 to build! What would you like to do? Uh... I mean, we can build that. Let's, let's just tell them to wait. Don't worry, patient. We'll build this pharmacy up in about 
30 seconds. No worries. Rooms. Pharmacy. Uh, oh, you know what? It would be... You're gonna have to get the fuck out of the way. Because we're gonna build the pharmacy right here. And we're gonna build the door right there. And what the fuck is that? Oh, a drug mixer. Okay, well... Uh, I assume that's the front of it. Boomy. What else do I need? Ah, uh, I gotta hire a nurse. Hire. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, do I need anything else in here? I... I guess not. Eh. Hell yeah. Uh, ooh. Orlando debauchery. <laughs> you know what? This guy... I know we said that we're running a budget hospital here, but we're gonna have to hire Orlando. He seems like a good... He works well for peanuts and enjoys attending duels. You know what? We need some experienced people up in here, okay? Uh, okay. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure a simple illness. Let's see if our new staff are up to the task. Uh, you better be, because I hired all your asses. Who are you? Ginny Sweetener. Uh, estimated chance of cure. Oh, great. What does she have? Uh, diagnosed. I don't, okay. Yay, we cured a patient. Well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money, and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in, so we can expand the hospital. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, awesome. Uh, alright. Thank you! Thank you for visiting our lovely The Hospital. Janitors and maintenance, now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate the with use and will be repairing from- and will need- oh my goodness, learn to read! And will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered mm, bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines, and while you're at it, make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry. Am I right? Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Well, I wasn't really keeping track of the time, but uh, I think I'm going to cut it there. Um, we've built a successful hospital. We've cured our first patient. We have a, a receptionist, uh, Titus. We have a pharmacist, Orlando. And we have a GP. I don't remember his name, but whatever. He's just the GP. Anyways, um, yeah. I guess next time we'll hire some janitors, clean some shit up. And, I don't know, make this the best hospital this side of the Mississippi. Or that side of the Mississippi. Wherever we are, I have no idea. Anyways, thank you for watching. And, I don't know, if you liked it, please leave a like. You don't have to subscribe because I only have like three videos. But, uh, you know, whatever. Please join me again. Have a great day. Goodbye. Whatever. I don't have an outro because I am not a professional because I'm just doing this because I have some spare time and I'm bored and I don't know what else to do.